New an NBC10 Boston exclusive, state and local officials are looking into allegations of attempted voter fraud in Lawrence, and we've exclusively obtained video footage from a Lawrence man's home appearing to show a woman removing ballots from his mailbox. NBC10's Darren Botello spoke with Secretary of State Bill Galvin about all of this. Darren, what did he have to say? Well, right now, there are two police reports alleging voter fraud in Lawrence at this time, and there could be more on the way. We are told that there is an investigation going on at both the state and local level, and one man tells us he actually caught a woman on camera going into his mailbox stealing ballots. This is the ring camera video appearing to show a woman taking out three ballots from a Lawrence man's mailbox. This is the man who didn't want to be identified, but says he went to go vote in person on Election Day last week and was told, according to the list, he already voted. That's when he checked his camera footage and then contacted police. The Essex County District Attorney's Office and Secretary of State, William Galvin, are now looking into any allegations of potential voter fraud. We're going to get all the ballots out of Lawrence, we're going to get all the mail-in ballots, and we're going to review everything and all the provisionals and reconcile the lists. And a further investigation contacting some of the people who allegedly voted by mail needs to be done, we will do it. There are two reports of potential voter fraud or stolen ballots right now in Lawrence. There may be more. It's premature to say how many. The second report filed was from this Lawrence woman who is still waiting for elections officials to decide whether her in-person vote will count or the mail-in which she says has her signature forged. How come it's not going to be counted if I'm voting right in front of you and I'm telling you that that vote that you have there is not mine? State elections officials are now sorting through these allegations and we're told the results would be delivered before the candidates begin their new terms in January. We're on it. The minute we heard about it today, we took action. We've had a history of sending people to jail when they've committed crimes. And that's what we'll do here. And there's also another component to these cases. If that mail was stolen out of those mailboxes, that's a federal offense, and we're told there could be a federal investigation on the way. Live in Boston tonight, Darren Botello, NBC10 Boston.